fescue. Mm -hmm. Give them a call today, 820-772-8. JJ Lawn Care, caring for more than just your lawn. Tony's Pizza Event Center is the home for Salina Liberty football. Tony's Pizza Event Center is also home for many other activities like concerts, monster trucks, wrestling, basketball, and volleyball state championships. But there is more to Tony's Pizza Event Center. Conference space and room for large group activities in Heritage Hall. Small meetings and conference rooms with food and beverage service available. See what we can do for you at Tony's Pizza Event Center.com. Think about the word precision. Precision represents quality and the fact of being exact and accurate. Isn't that what you want when it comes to electrical? Precision Electrical Contractors in Salina brings exact and accurate quality to electrical jobs in Central Kansas since 2003. Precision Electric's focus on quality and performance combined with their experience and dedication creates a winning set of finished products which saves their customers money. Don't rely on so-so electrical. Visit the team at Precision Electrical Contractors online at PECSalina.com. Summertime is the best time to upgrade and invest in your home. During the recent storms, have you noticed your garage door leaking? Or even worse, has your garage door left you out in the rain? Overhead Door Company of North Central Kansas wants to help you stay dry and save money. This month, save $100 on a new garage door and opener installed by the experts at Overhead Door. Increase your home's value and save money with Overhead Door Company of North Central Kansas in Salina and McPherson or online at ODC in C K.com. We'll be back with more countdown to kick off with Salina Liberty Football. Brought to you by Central National Bank in Salina after this. Pain, a strong word that describes a condition that affects your lifestyle and even causes you to miss daily activities. If you or someone you love suffers from back pain or a failed back surgery, visit the Salina Pain Clinic. Their physicians can evaluate your pain to determine if a spinal cord stimulator is right for you. A spinal cord stimulator is a non-narcotic treatment option that can improve your everyday life and reduce the need for surgery. Call the Salina Pain Clinic Inside Surgical Arts Center in downtown Salina or online at aack.org. A1 Plumbing Services, a proud supporter of the Salina Liberty football team. A1 Plumbing makes your life easy. Competitive rates and quick response times, plus all work, including labor and parts, are guaranteed. A1 Plumbing is open to service 24 hours a day. New construction and remodeling are just the beginning of the many services master plumber Chris Bogan and his team perform. Save time and money with sewer camera service. Don't wait. Call A1 Plumbing, 827-4888. That's 827-4888. Your home is a big investment, and that's why Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement wants to help you protect it for years to come. From storm damage repair to a new roof, windows, siding, or guttering, Geisler Roofing's experienced and professional team will walk you through your next roofing or home improvement spring project. Building your trust in the North Central Kansas area for 36 years. We got you covered at Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement in Concordia and Salina. Getting your home and landscape ready for the warm weather ahead can be easy and fun when you have the right equipment for each job. As you reach for certain tools, there's probably something you need but don't have, and that's where Abilene Rent All can help. Don't buy expensive tools that you only use a couple of times a year. Abilene Rent All has everything you need to beautify your space for rent, and they also sell power equipment from Toro, Echo, and Cub Cadet. Abilene Rent All and Sales on West 1st Street in Abilene, serving the area for 43 years. With the recent severe weather, we experienced a good amount of hail. If your RV sustained hail damage, you don't have to wait for your insurance company. Just take your camper to Four Seasons RV Acres. The service department at Four Seasons works with most major insurance companies and will help you submit your camper claim and get you fixed up in time for the summer weather ahead. If you want to trade your damaged RV for a new one, a great deal is waiting for you at Four Seasons RV Acres, just six miles east of Ambling on I-70, where the fun begins. Ready? You're listening to Salina Liberty Football on KINA Sports. Back here at Tony's Pizza Event Center, Devin Haney along with Tyler Henry. Big Sam Pretty is producing and engineering tonight's contest. It's a North Division Championship between the Sioux City Bandits and the Salina Liberty. Both these teams completed the first round of the playoffs and the regular season with 10 wins and three losses. The only reason we're here in Salina is because of a head-to-head -head contest in April in which Salina got the victory 60-58 to over Sioux City on their home field at Tyson Event Center. And, Tyler, we've talked about it a lot. Any way you stack these two teams up, you start with record, and you just trickle on down from there. 
they are very, very similar teams. Yeah, this season, this is going to be a Clash of the Titans type matchup, and I think this is going to be an excellent Northern Division Championship game. And especially when you look at the recent games that these two teams have played. Sioux City comes in here on a six-game winning streak. Salina on a three-game winning streak. Salina has won by an average margin of 28 points in those three games. Sioux City in their six has won by an average of 30. But only one of those two teams can walk away today and head to that CIF championship final. And you say Salina's on a three-game winning streak. But if you go back to the game that they won at Tyson Events Center, coming off of the loss on the road at Bismarck since that Sioux City game, They've won six out of their last seven. This is one of the hottest teams in the league right now. Some people could maybe make the argument that this is the two best teams in Champions Indoor Football. We don't know a lot about Duke City. We know that the Texas Revolution are still on it. They came into the playoffs with a losing record. They have a chance to get back to, the, to 500 as they enter a championship game. That game comes your way on Monday. But here tonight, it's all about these two teams from Salina and Sioux City. Sioux City, a perennial contender. If they win this game here tonight, they will qualify for their fifth championship game since 2011. Yeah, this may be road territory for Sioux City in terms of being in the city of Salina, Kansas, but make no mistake, they feel at home right now in the playoffs. This is where they've thrived over the years, and Salina teams know all too well how good Sioux City can be in the postseason. They were eliminated by them back when they were the Bombers, looking for a little bit of revenge here tonight as the Liberty should make for an excellent matchup. And like you said, I completely agree. I think these are the two best teams in champions indoor football. We'll have to wait and see what happens tonight. What a turnaround for the Salina Liberty. Who thought we would be here at this point still playing football with just a couple of weeks left before 4th of July? Here are the Salina Liberty still playing and still contending for a Champions Indoor Football title. Captains out on the field right now, Jamar Seard along with Derek Bernard, Ricky Wyatt, and also Eric Johnson who anchors that defensive secondary. Probably the biggest difference between the Salina Liberty April that went to Sioux City and Salina Liberty here in June is just pure health. We talked about that game. They had wide receivers. Rashad Pargo played almost the whole second half in the defensive secondary for the Salina Liberty because they were so banged up at that point. And that's really the only portion of the season that they struggled with injuries. They come into tonight, High C. Scott, the wide receiver, he's a scratch. He's still having trouble with that ankle. But other than that, Wes Bailey is back. Last week we saw the return of Tyrell Green off a short-term IR with a knee injury. He played well. He had full workouts all week. You have a quarterback that's played every single snap for you this year. You have a middle linebacker in Ricky Wyatt, who's basically the only linebacker in Coach Theo Johnson's scheme. He's played every snap this year. This team has been blessed from Salina with injuries. Absolutely. They've been extremely healthy recently. You mentioned back to full strength. And I think that it worked both ways in that Sioux City-Salina game earlier this year because any way you want to slice it up, for whatever reason, Sioux City only has three losses this year. They all came three in a row, and Salina was the final loss in that three-loss stretch. So this is a bit of a different Sioux City team than the one that we saw then as well, but I completely agree with the health that Salina has in this game. They're at 100% strength, and I think that they're in a position where they can take down this massive juggernaut in the CIF. When you look at averages on offense and defense, the similarities just continue. Salina offensively, they put up 56.8 points a game, or excuse me, 56.3. Sioux City, a half a point more at 56.8. Defensive averages, Salina gives up 42.8 points a game. Sioux City, six-tenths of a point less than that. Again, similarities across the board. It's all going to be settled on the field, and I think Ron O'Neill said it best. Turnovers determine a lot of games, but I think – not only the number of turnovers that you'll have compared to your teammates or your, your opponents will determine this game, but also the timing of those turnovers. Look back in April when we were in Sioux City to play the Bandits at Tyson Events Center. Salina was down by one going into the fourth quarter. Sioux City had the ball in the lead. Trey Dudley gets an interception, returns it back to the house.